The Queen has certainly lived a life unlike anything we could ever dream of. Although it's not all rose gardens and fancy parties, today we're going to be breaking down all the things that Her Majesty the Queen has never been able to do in her lifetime. Hopefully this list will make you feel at least a little bit grateful for some of the freedoms that you are afforded after finding out what the Queen isn't allowed to do. So let's smash that like button without any further delay, let's begin today's top 5. Coming in number 5, dating. Due to the naturally sheltered life that Queen Elizabeth II has had to live, she never really had a chance to date anyone or even hang out with commoners, as they so lovingly refer to us as. Elizabeth would actually meet her husband Prince Philip at the age of 13 while attending a wedding. Philip was 18 at the time and it wouldn't be until the summer of 1939 that the relationship became romantic and by 1947 the pair were engaged. Now, some would argue that she never had a chance to date because she was always surrounded by royal life, but unlike most teenage girls, the Queen had already set her sights on the man that she wanted to be her Prince Charming. Coming in at number 4, voting. Now despite what many people may think, the Queen hasn't actually had any political power for quite some time now. She's mainly just there as a symbol of the history of the UK. In addition to this though, once you are married to a royal, you are not allowed to be active in politics. In fact, the royal family has to refrain from participating in most political events. Because of this, the Queen can't vote and as I mentioned, run for any form of public office. They're basically just the penguins from Madagascar, every day is just smile and wave, smile and wave. Technically they are allowed to vote, but the Queen chooses not to because it would be considered unconstitutional. By not voting, she at least remains politically neutral, which is meant to help keep that appearance of the royal family's role with the general public. Coming in number 3, attend school. Queen Elizabeth II is without a doubt an incredibly educated woman and surprisingly she has never even stepped foot in a normal classroom. Due to her status in society, she and her sister Princess Margaret were tutored privately. As you can imagine, the Queen and her sister had the absolute best tutors that royal money could buy. Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret were educated at home like many girls from wealthy families at the time though, so this wasn't that strange that she never attended a public school or university. After her father succeeded the throne in 1936 and Princess Elizabeth became the presumptive heir, she began to study constitutional history and law in preparation for her future position as the Queen. Princess Elizabeth also learned French from a number of French and Belgian governesses, which is a skill that has helped the Queen on more than one occasion, as she often has cause to use it when speaking to ambassadors and heads of state from French-speaking countries. In addition to constitutional history and law though, she also studied art and music, learned to ride, and became a strong swimmer. Plus won the Children's Challenge Shield at London's Bath Club when she was only 13 years old. Coming in at number 2, Driving Test. This point is kind of amazing, so because driver's licenses are actually issued in the name of her Majesty, she can just drive wherever and whenever she wants without a license, because she's the one that issues it. Even as a princess, she didn't even need to take a driving test. Most of the time, royals are chauffeured from place to place, so there's never really any reason for them to be taking driving lessons. However, that being said, Queen Elizabeth II did learn how to drive during her time serving in World War II as a first aid truck driver. A little interesting tidbit there for you. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, no social media. So far, Princess Eugenie is the only member of the younger generation of the royals to actually have a personal social media account. Everyone else, including the Queen, must go through the Kensington Palace's official account to share any photos. Meghan Markle, for example, even noticeably went missing from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram after getting engaged to Prince Harry. Then in January, the Kensington Palace released a statement saying, Miss Markle is grateful to everyone who has followed her social media accounts over the years. However, as she has not used them for some time, she has taken the decision to close them. Sure, that's why she closed them. Got nothing to do with that weird rule where you're not allowed to have any social media. Sure. And that has been the top 5 everyday things Queen Elizabeth II has never done in her life. But before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled TikToker finds out she's deaf 16 years later. Jay Leverhart says, That was me in 6th grade, but with my eyes. I had no idea people and objects weren't supposed to look fuzzy. Only got my eyes tested because of my headaches. Well, thank goodness that you got them tested. I mean, like I said, a lot of people just go through life thinking that this is the way everyone sees things. So it's always good to get a checkup with your doctor or optometrist. Jalen Dale says, I'm now genuinely curious how many times Johnny has heard the question, can I call you Mr. Rogers? It's that a million times, plus one. Um, and I always get, here's Johnny, every time I enter a room. <laughs> But you know what? It's fine. I like attention. And it says, it's so scary how something like that can be overlooked for so long by so many people. So glad that nurse decided to look into it more. Goes to show to keep talking about something bothering you. Especially if it's uh, like a medical thing as well, like anything to do with your body. You gotta be questioning that every single time. Your stomach's upset, your eyes a little blurry, anything. Go get it checked out. Better safe than sorry, as they say. The ominous they. <laughs> Broccoli Broom says, was she the last to hear about it? Oh, a broccoli would say that. Panda Empire That's Me Too says, Love your videos and this is really sad. Edit, I thought your name was Jolly Rogers. What? 
<laughs> I am pretty jolly, so I get the confusion. Sarasaurus Rex says, my hearing is pretty poor as well. I'd be interested in taking a hearing test. You should. Johnny, what concerts have you gone to? What were your favorites? Big thanks to everyone on screen and behind the scenes at I.O. Let's see, I've been to the following concerts. I saw Drake in 2010, Jay-Z and Kanye for the Watch the Throne album, Coldplay, Down with Webster, Classified, Sunreal, Lights, Leon, the little accent, uh, Finger Eleven, Theory of a Dead Man, and I'm sure there's plenty more that I'm forgetting, but my favorite was definitely Sunreal's concert just because we got to meet them and hang out, so, and I love supporting Canadian artists. As you see, I wear a shirt all the time. But that has been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube.